Welcome back to Grade 4, Go Math. This is Go Math, Grade 4, Unit 2, Multiply by One Digit, Lesson 2.2, Algebra Comparison Problems. Before we begin, boys and girls, I want to make sure that you have with you uh, your wipe board or paper because you will be drawing uh, models to solve these problems. So um, this is Go Math Lesson 2.2 Comparison Problems. Our essential question is how does a model help you solve a comparison problem? All right, let's unlock the problem. Evan's dog weigh se seven times as much as Oxana's dog. Together, the dogs weigh 72 pounds. How much does Evan's dog weigh? Well, immediately, there's some things there. I know that Evan's dog weighs seven times as many and combined, the dogs weigh 72 pounds. That's very important. So now, it says use a multiplication model. Draw a model, let n represent the unknown. Think, let n represent how much Oxana's dog weighs. Together, the dogs weigh 72 pounds. All right, so we do not know how much Evan's dog weighs. We just know that it's seven times as many as Oxana's. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven boxes with N's. We know that Oxana's dog here is an N because we don't know how much Oxana's dog weighs, but we know combined the dogs weigh 72 pounds. All right. Now it says use the model to write an equation, find the value of n. Well, we know that there are eight boxes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because Evan's dog weighs seven times as much as Oxana's. Then we have to add Oxana's dog, so that would be eight. That's how we get this eight. Eight times n equals 72. It says there are eight parts, the parts together equal 72, okay? Eight times nine equals 72. Think, what times eight equals 72? So the value of, not, of the n is nine, so n is how much Oxana's dog weighs. Oxana's dog weighs eight or nine pounds. Do you understand that, boys and girls? It says there are eight parts to the problem, and all together they equal 72. So it'd be eight times n equals 72. What number times eight equals 72, and that's nine. So we just found out how much Oxana's dog weighs. Now it says, find how much Evan's dog weighs. Well, Evan's dog weighs seven times as much as Oxana's dog. So, if Oxana's dog weighs nine and Evan's dog is seven times that, seven times nine is 63. So, Evan's dog weighs 63 pounds. All right, let's look at this next part. It says, to find how many times as much, use a multiplication model. To find how many more or fewer, model the addition or subtraction. Evan's dog weighs 63 pounds. Oxana's dog weighs nine pounds. How much more does Evan's dog weigh than Oxana's dog? Example two, use an addition or subtraction model. Step one, draw a model, let N represent the unknown. Think, let N represent the difference. 
So we have Evans and we have the long bar and we know it's 63. We have Oxana's. We have a small bar. We know that the Oxana's dog weighs nine. Look at how I made this bar here. That represents N, the difference between 63 and nine. So now it says use the model to write an equation to find the value of N. 63 minus 9 equals N. This model shows the difference. 63 minus 9 is 4 equals a 54. The value of N is 54. N is how much more Evan's dog weighs. So Evan's dog weighs 54 pounds more than Oxana's dog. All right, boys and girls, make sure you have example one and example two filled in. If you haven't done that yet, pause the video and do it now. You're going to need example one and example two to complete all of these problems with today's lesson. All right, so now I have a star here. That means I want you to read this problem and I want you to complete this problem on your own. We will um, work the problem out on the next slide. So pause the video, work the problem out, and then go to the next slide. Let's get right into question one. Maria's dog weighs six times as much as her rabbit, and together the pets weigh 56 pounds. What does Maria's dog weigh? Draw a model and let N represent the unknown. Well, immediately I already know that the dog weighs six times as much as the rabbit, but together they weigh 56 pounds. All right, so once I start putting my information into my model, I have my dog, and I know it weighs six times, one, two, three, four, five, six. The N is the unknown because I don't know how much the dog weighs, and I have the rabbit, and it is an N, just one box of N. Together, they weigh 56 pounds. Maria's dog weighs six times as much as the rabbit. We can now use this information to figure out how much the rabbit weighs. Write an equation to find the value of N. 7 times N equals 56. How did I get the 7, boys and girls? I added the N's. 6 and 1. All right, seven times N equals 56. N is eight pounds because seven times eight is 56. I know now the rabbit weighs eight pounds. Now, multiply to find how, how much Maria's dog weighs. Well, Maria, um, the rabbit is eight pounds. The dog is six times more than the rabbit. So eight times six is 48. So Maria's dog weighs 48 pounds. Did you get that right? I hope you did. If you keep following this model, you're gonna get these answers correct. Let's go to the next page. And I want you boys and girls to do two and three on your own. Pause the video, complete the two problems, and then go to the next slide to see if you got the answers correct. All right, number two, draw a model with an equation and solve. Last month, Kim trained three times as many dogs as cats. If the total number of cats and dogs she trained last month is 28, how many cats did Kim train? Well, I drew the model, dogs and cats. 
she th trained three times as many dogs as cats. So I did that. I know it equals 28. Now write the equation. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 times n equals 28. n equals 7 because 7 times 4 is 28. Kim trained 7 cats. Alright? Now, you, how many more dogs than cats did Kim train? Draw the model. All right, dogs, cats. I drew the long bar with 21. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, let's look at number two. Last month, Kim trained three times as many dogs as cats. If the total number of cats and dogs she trained last month is 28, how many cats did Kim train? Well, the total number is 28. Dogs, I know she trained three times as many cats. So, I have four, four n's. Four times n equals 28. 1, 2, 3, 4 equals 28. So I know that n equals 7. So Kim trained 7 cats. That's very important. Okay, she trained 7 cats. Now it says, how many more dogs and cats did Kim train? You draw a model. Well, we don't know how many dogs, but we know she trained 7 of the 28. So if I take 28 and I subtract 7, if I take the 28 total and I subtract the 7 cats that she trained, I get the number 21. Do you see what I did? Oh, let me get that 21 in there. Sometimes this is hard to draw. It won't let me draw today. Come on. 21. I get 21. So now I can say that 21 dogs minus the seven cats equals how many more dogs she trained than cats. 21 minus 7 equals 14. So Kim train 14 more dogs than cats. All right, I had to go back up into this problem to solve this problem. All right, so n here is 14. All right, now you're on your own. I want you to do question four, five, six, seven, on this page on your own and when you've completed it come back and check pause the video complete four five six and seven and then check your work all right so here are the answers to four five six and seven if you got four five six and seven you can uh, if you got four five six and seven correct you can skip the next four um slides because i'm going to show you how to do four five six and seven um, but if you got it right skip it and go to skip those slides and go to page 72. let's look at how this problem was um, solved this is problem number four um, there were four times as many boxers there are 30 docs box there are 30 dogs in all. So we have boxers, one, two, three, four, four times as many. Spaniels, there's a total of 30. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five times n equals 30. Five times six equals 30. n equals six, a total of six spaniels.
Here is problem number five. There are five times as many labs as terriers. There's 18 dogs. How many dogs are terriers? We know there's a total of 18. Labs are five times as many. One, two, three, four, five. Here's your terriers. We have six boxes, six N's, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six times N equals 18. Six times three equals 18. N equals three. There are three terriers. Okay, let's look at question number six. It says there are three times as many guppies as goldfish. There are 20 fish in all. How many guppies does he have? Well, guppies, he has three times as many, so you have three N's, your goldfish, N, 20 in all. Four, one, two, three, four, four times N equals 20, four times five equals 20, N equals five. There are five goldfish, but that's not what we want to know. We want to know how many guppies does he have. So now we do the other model. There are five goldfish here. We don't know how many guppies there are. This represents the difference. We know there are 20 in all. 20 minus 5, 20 in all, Minus the five goldfish equals 15. So N equals 15. There are 15 guppies. You have to do all of this, boys and girls, to get to this answer. All right, boys and girls, now you are going to do 8, 9, 10, and 11 on your own. Um, I'm going to tell you number 9 is really tricky. You might want to ask your parents to help you. Number 10, draw a diagram. Um, and we'll do 9 and 10 on separate sheets so I can go over it with you um, in a little more detail. So go ahead and pause the video. Do 8, 9, and 10, 10 and 11 on your own. And when you're finished, come back and check. Okay, let's look at number 8. It says, to get a to get to a dog show, Mr. Luna first drives seven miles west from his home and then three miles north. Next, he turns east and drives 11 miles. Finally, he turns north and drives four miles to the dog show. How far north of Mr. Luna's home is the dog show? To solve the problem, Dara and Cliff drew diagrams. Which diagram is correct? Okay, so it's asking you how far north of Mr. Luna's home is the dog show? Dara and Cliff drew these diagrams. Which diagram is correct? Well, Cliff's diagram is correct because Cliff diagram shows directions while Dara's diagram shows the number of miles traveled, but not directions. All right, number nine, we're going to do on the next page. All right, I'm going to be honest with you, nine was really tricky, and you had to do a couple of things to try to figure out the answer. It says, um, Valerie and Brett have a total of 24 dogs, show ribbons. Brett has twice as many ribbons as Valerie. How many ribbons does each have? Well, Valerie has eight and Brett has 16 because 16 is half of eight. Okay. So the one thing we know is that they have 24 dog ribbons. All right. So we can think of some um, algebraic equations that equal 24. 3 times n equals 24 and 4 times n equals 24. Let's start with 4. 4 times n equals 24 and n would equal 6. If we took 24 and we subtracted the 6 that would be 18 and that would represent Brett, Brett's ribbons. Okay. 
24 minus 18 equals 6, and that 6 represents Valerie. Is 18 twice as many as 6? No, it's only a third. So let's do the next problem. 3 times n equals 24, n equals 8. 24 minus 8 equals 16. 16 represents Brett. Okay, if we take the 16 and we subtract the 8, the 8 represents Valerie. Is 16 twice as many as 8? Yes, this was a tricky problem, all right? And you had to know that you were going to use an algebraic equation that equals 24. And right off the top of your head, you should have thought 3 times 8 is 24 and 6 times 4 is 24 or 4 times 6 is 24. Then you would have had to have done these out, work those problems out, and ask yourself, um, Brett has twice as many ribbons as Valerie. Is um, 6 twice as many as 8, or 8, um, I'm sorry, is 18 twice as many as 6? No. And is um, 16 twice as many as 8? Yes. All right, number 10 looked tricky, but it really wasn't. And basically, it was just an addition problem. It says, Noah built a fenced dog run that is eight yards long and six yards wide. He placed posts at every corner and every yard in length and width of the run. How many posts did he use? Well, <laughs> all they were asking you to do is if he placed one at every corner and every yard, that's six yards, and that's six yards. Six plus six is 12. This is eight yards, and this is eight yards. Eight plus eight is 16. So 12 plus 16 is 28. He placed 28 posts. Okay, boys and girls, um, this is a problem that we've been doing this whole um, session. So last weekend, Mandy collected four times as many shells as Cameron. Together, they collected 40 shells. How many shells did Mandy collect? Complete the bar model, then write the equation as solved. All right, they collected 40. Mandy collected four times as many as Cameron. So it would be five times n equals 40. 5 times 8 equals 40, so n equals 8, all right? Each of these n's is 8, so it'd be 8 times 1, 2, 3, 4. 8 times 4 is 32, so Mandy collected 32 shells. All right, boys and girls, this was a long lesson, but it needed to be long because I needed to explain things to you carefully. Um, now it is time for your practice and homework for lesson 2.2. Remember, my class, complete it, take a snapshot, get it to me as quickly as possible. I'll go over it, and if you did not do as well as I hope you do, um, I will get in contact with you and we'll need to set up a session to do some one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so I want you to do page 72 on your own. Do page 73 on your own. My class, take a snapshot, send it to me so I can grade it and get in the grade book. That's the end of the lesson. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Awesome Possum Classroom at 451. If you would like these worksheets, you can email me at awesomepossumclassroom at gmail.com and I will send you the link. I can't guarantee the link is always available, but you can purchase the Go Math workbook for students on YouTube. So uh, have a great day and I shall see you tomorrow for the next lesson.